Hey everybody, it's Nathan Walters here, music producer, recording artist, and former boy band member. If you're new to my channel, um, I was in a boy band called Plus One on Atlantic, on Atlantic Records back in the early 2000s. Um, okay, I've been diving into the world of BTS, and I've discovered so many things. Um, I'm also dabbling in some of the BTS members, their solo projects. Um, so I did a reaction video to Jin, um, his single called Astronaut. Um, and I learned so much just after that. Um, first of all, everybody in the comments was like, hey, if you love, I love the melody. I was really moved by the melody. People were like, man, if you love that melody, you're going to love the live performance. You should watch the live performance um, with Coldplay and Jin. So that's what I'm doing. I'm going to react to that in a second here. And um, really looking forward to that. But I also learned that the song was written for ARMY. Um, now when I go back and I pulled up the lyrics again on Dual Set and um, they totally hit different when you know that he's he's written about ARMY, so that's cool. For those of you who are new, any of my other music industry friends or people who aren't really into the world of BTS yet, yet, you're going to get sucked in. That's what's happening to me. Um, you, you'll, you'll, when I say ARMY, that is the big fan base ARMY that... Um, that 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 exists and uh you'll hear from them they're very strong and intense and uh i feel i feel the love from you guys often there's some of you who are pretty harsh to me <laughs> hold off <laughs> no but overall i get it you know uh there, i think there's a lot of people out there who abuse uh the the reaction the the whole thing of reacting to bts videos um i didn't know that was a thing until after i started um re i put one reaction video out and it happened to be bts i had other ones in in play I said, I'll do BTS first. I like I like boy bands. Although a lot of you think they're not boy bands. I get it. Um, and, and, you know, the response is so great. I was like, man, I'll keep doing this. This is fun. Um, that being said, I know there's a lot of people out there. Oh, my gosh. It's starting to drive me crazy. I'm not trying, I'm not trying to bash on other reactors. I'm just saying that I, I understand uh, some of the protectiveness some of the army has towards people who may be abusing the whole reacting to BTS, you know. So, anyway, that being said... Let's dive in. Um, I got the video queued up here. Here we go. Turn the volume up. Cool. Okay. I'll stop really quick just before you start singing. For the most part, I think I, it's going to sound bad me saying this. I don't really like to go to live shows. I don't know if it's because I have spent my life in a box in a studio producing records. You know, although I did tour a lot as an artist, but as a as a as a listener, I didn't really like. I don't like going to shows in general. Some shows have moved me. I'm like, oh, this is so fun. But every time I watch a BTS or like in this case, it's a solo member. Um, the energy is so inspiring from the crowd. I'm not even there, and I just hear it in my headphones. Um, seeing the visual, it pumps me up and really makes me want to go see them alive. So that's something I'm going to try to. I would love to do when they when they come re, when they meet back up. Okay, here we go. It's like the screams. It's so intense. The lights are so cool. That stage, that stage looks awesome. And you know what's, it's fun now. Okay, I'm gonna date myself. I feel like I'm always dating myself. I already said how old I was. You, when I look in the audience here, it's just fun to see a bunch of like cell phones everywhere. I know that's been happening for years, for 20 years. But um, you know, at one time that wasn't a thing. I remember you know going to shows and that was not a thing. So. Oh, just a, just an observation. I'll shut up. Here we go. I love that melody, and I love that he's going to his falsetto. Some of you guys have said, um, cause I'm still getting to know everyone's vo vocals in BTS, but 
a lot of you said there's a lot of times I'll respond to uh, Jimin's voice because, you know, when I first watched BTS, I was like, oh, I love this guy's voice and his vibe. Um, and he stuck out. And But everyone was like, you guys, you're missing Jin. Why don't, he's got an amazing high register and he's hitting a lot of the notes sometimes that you think Jimin's hitting. And um, But on this song, overall, because I've already heard the original, it feels like he's really embracing his lower tone, which is which is which is I guess unexpected. Just hearing the feedback of you guys saying that he has a high voice, but I love that he flipped up to his falsetto and it sounds so great. That being said, I'll shut up soon. But this is my channel. Um, you know, I have a high voice, and a lot of times I felt like I need to always sing high. And the day I realized, wait a minute. You know what? There are other tones in in your voice that you need to experiment with and 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 embrace, and that that you're missing out on if you don't go there. It opened up a whole new whole new world for me. And I wonder if I don't know, but I wonder if Jin is doing that with this song. I don't know. Maybe he sings lower in other parts, but um, yeah, because he sounds great low, and you don't always have to be showing off singing high. You know? Okay, let's finish the rest of this song. I stopped right in the middle of the chorus. Let's back it up a bit. Here we go. I get heaven to myself when I'm with you. There is no wow. Look at that shot. Okay. <laughs> this reminds me. <laughs> in the comments uh, when I did my reaction to the official music video a few of you said this but one comment really stuck out they said oh you gotta watch the live version they, they said it's a love fest and I was like what no I see yeah, this is fun they, they really enjoy hanging out with each other look at that that's cool you even gave him a kiss I hear an extra no no note happening. I don't know what that is. New things happen live, you know. Okay. Look at that back that shot. That's so cool. I love those colors. Everybody. Wow, that's cool too. These is you guys said Argentina. A lot of you all here's a side note. I remember some some people saying this was filmed in Brazil. And many people were like, you everyone keeps saying Brazil. It's not Brazil, it's Argentina. I don't know where. I should have I should have read more of your comments. Here in the, the backing, okay, it's common for I can tell they're singing, they're they're playing live, but there is also a track in the background that that they're playing with. I could tell because um, uh, I I can just tell. Trust me. <laughs> um, there's other elements that are happening, but one of them is uh, I could hear that. Um, I feel this way, na, 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 na. I'm horrible at lyrics, guys. You should know this by now. <laughs> um. Even though he's singing, da 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 da, I heard da da the octave in the background. Maybe Chris was singing it live, but it didn't sound like it was a, it was live. Okay, doesn't matter. I'm just commenting. Here we go. Now he's singing live with him. Love that part. Fireworks! There is no one else. I get to myself. 
<laughs> Man, this is funny. Uh, this just reminds me. Um, so, not to talk about myself, but this is my channel. Um, oh, our band plus one. We started out as a as a boy band, you know, dancing on stage like in sync and all that. And um, but a lot of us in the band were were um, musicians like myself. I I almost didn't join the boy band. I got asked to to do it. Um, by uh, the manager and then the, the head guy at Atlantic Records at the time, Barry Landis. Um, they were like, hey, will you join this group? You know, putting it together. <clears throat> and uh, and I, I said no at first because I was a, um, I'm a piano guy, keyboard player. And, and, you know, I had the same judgment. Oh, I'll join a boy band. That's not real music. And I ended up doing it. And I'm um, so glad I did. And, um, but that being said, there was always a part of me that really like l I loved live instruments and I loved you know that. So just seeing this, it just instantly brought back memories because what we did later, our boy band slowly morphed towards at the tail end. We we did like a Coldplay Brit rock kind of record called Exodus. You could look that up on Spotify if you want. Plus one Exodus, and that is was so different than the boy band days that some of our fans would show up in the concert and watch us on stage because we looked like this kind of setup like playing instruments you know and drums and stuff and we weren't dancing anymore and some of our some of our fans or some people who knew us went to the show after we were done with our show would go cool what when's plus one coming on <laughs> they didn't even recognize us because the vibe was different anyway that's long story but that's what this reminds me of um just some good memories i just had to, just had to share just brought some back some happy memories being on stage and singing i'm ready to get out of the studio and start singing again you know i've been inspired guys is um i'm gonna start doing some covers of some B bts songs and maybe even this song let me know if you would be into listening to me sing here we go let's dive in i'll shut up you're here to watch me react And I love that melody too. Do, 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 do. And the love you. I feel like Jen's hitting some some nuances in his voice here that I didn't that I didn't that I don't remember happening on the record. But it's like he he's tapping to a little bit of vibrato that's happening. Um like you know, uh a little bit of rasp and vibrato. I, I'm not gonna try to do it because I don't have that kind of voice, but that's cool to hear. <laughs> so happy. <laughs> this is such a great hook to bum bum. Good moment that. It just feels like it, it could go so many different places, like the end of a movie, you know, and everybody's happy. And uh, yeah, it's cool. Man, those lights are so great. I love a great light show. Um, yeah. Sometimes I feel like that goes unnoticed because people don't realize how much light and how much light affects a show, really. Um, so let's take a moment and look at that and appreciate it. <laughs> Oh, that's cool. I love that. That's that's awesome. <laughs> Heaven coming through. What a great moment. And I love you. 
beautiful. Gracias, Argentina. Uh, Man. Uh, thank you. That crowd is intense. Here it is. And Chris. Krigo. Salam da mi arobunde. Cool. That was fun. Yeah, that crowd is intense, man. Hearing that in stereo. Wow. That's fun. All right. Well, thank you for uh, watching this reaction. I uh, hope it didn't blab too much about whatever. Um, okay. Uh, always let me know if, you, if there's any other songs you want me to check out. Live performances, official music videos. It doesn't always have to be BTS. Uh, it could be anything. You know, it could be anything. But I... I uh, I am loving reviewing BTS. There's so much to, to discover. So, um, And also, uh, I think I've got some, some merch. Look down below. Check it out. See if anything uh, you know, looks fun. Okay. Uh, make sure you like, subscribe, and I will see you next time.